So a stirring conclusion to a very well-conceived and satisfying opening ceremony in Athens. We're not quite done when we come back. We'll talk to two of the big upset American winners from the Sydney Games of 2000, diver Laura Wilkinson and wrestler Rulon Gardner. Tonight, the games come home. Their remarkable invention, first conceived some three millennia ago. The games return once more to the place of their birth, to the people who would not let them die. The Olympic Games of the year 2004 is Athens. All of Greece has waited more than a century for this night. The Olympics are theirs again. It begins here in this very place. The beginning of sport as we know it. Greece gave the world this ancient dream of honor achieved from will and sacrifice. 2,780 years ago, the first Olympians walked to a starting line. 2,780 years ago, the games begin with a sprint exactly as long as our first stadium. And the cheers echo for a millennium until Greece yields to a Roman Empire, until its ruler orders them closed forever. For 15 centuries, the games are lost in time, until 1896, when, at the center of Athens, a marble temple of sport is reborn. Inspired by the memories of what once was in the Valley of Olympia, 14 nations, 241 competitors, are captured by the romance of history. And they come to write the opening chapter of a new mythology. A new age of athletes reminds the world of what marvels can be achieved in the merger of body and soul. Tonight in Athens, 202 nations, the world in full, assembled in a tenuous peace, have arrived at another starting line. 10,000 athletes have arrived to define themselves in games born here 28 centuries ago. To Greece has come Russia's enduring sports ballerina, and seasoned teams already baptized by conquests over pain and the blaze of searing competition. To Greece has come America's Midwestern balance of power and grace. And the California Beach Dynasty uniting attractive opposites. And this last time, a vintage team flamed by her passion. In the sprints, the sign of the times is both familiar and fresh. In the marathon, first raced here 108 years ago, Athens awaits a woman from England faster than its men, and a man from Kenya keen to turn silver into gold. And for track's ultimate test, he carries an immigrant's indelible success story and a body classically complete. At the pool, the story may be told in plural, in multiples of medals, with the torpedo, whose dominance might turn the land down under, upside down. with two whose winning smiles hide their uncompromising competitive zeal. At the pool, the 19-year-old born in Baltimore has come to Greece for history's sake to put himself on the podium eight times over. While a thousand wars have flamed and burned, 
as our world has been shattered and remade. A call to a starting line yet remains, where the promise of competition glistens. Where, as it once was 2,780 years ago, athletes come to define themselves in the merger of body and soul. Once more, we return to an ancient dream of what we can become if we race toward greatness. Tonight, in Athens, Greece, the games come home again. <laughs>